Sad dudes. FPS warning again for this one. Even worse than the last time. Blade Blast of Unloading is a new gem introduced to the last patch. This version only explodes your blade vortexes instead of all blades. This means our damage is gated based on blade vortex upkeep. And the best way to generate a bunch of blade vortexes is to use Brands and Saboteur. Perfect Crime from Sab doubles your triggers. Since Arcanus Brand is a trigger, it also casts twice. Brand Recall is a skill that brings your brands to you and casts them. If you put this in an automation, which is also a trigger skill, this also doubles. This gives us 4 stacks of Blade Vortex per recall per brand. Keeping out 2 brands gives us an ideal uptime. Since we're doing pure fizz, we can do Spell Impale within Tropic Devastation. This also gives us a Call of Steel, but it's not used that much. I am reusing the Black Cane and Shaco tech from the Tornado build. We enable it by putting our Blade Vortex brand in the Shaco, plus with a level 1 Ball Lightning. This is also an Ivory Tower build. We use the standard setup, we reserve all our health and mana with auras, a Consecrating Elixir to survive Chaos damage, and we sustain Consecrating Elixir with the Traitor Keystone and two Open Flask slots. Since we are very low life, our stun threshold is almost nothing. This means we can use Cast When Stunned to automate three curses. We use an Anathema for more curses, and an Immutable Force to lower our stun duration to almost nothing. This also enables any when stunned recently buffs, like the Caster Mastery that gives 25% more damage. Alright, I hate this build. I really don't want to play it anymore. It has so, so many problems. Let's start out with the playstyle. First, the rate of stacks you get is sort of random. There's no rhythm or pattern to it, and you can't tell when you have enough stacks. You just have to press Blade Blast and hope you have enough. Sometimes it just doesn't even work, either based on your mana or not having any stacks. The brands have a duration and expire. You get about 3 Blade Blasts per brand recast, and you have to cast brands twice. So now we have buff upkeep problems. The POB DPS is an outright lie. You are never close to hitting this uptime. Sometimes it feels like you have no damage at all. Next is the lag. In the tornado video, I noticed something was causing lag, and I attributed it to Aspect of Spider. It turns out it actually was Ball Lightning of Static. Static is objectively the best gem for the Phantasm tech, but using it will tank the FPS to single digits. This creates a weird situation where you want a gem that hits a lot, but if it hits too much, the game becomes unplayable. And trading off power for performance is never a fun trade-off. Also, survivability is all over the place. I went out of my way to get full ailment immunity, almost cap spell suppressed, and a very high recovery rate. It is being carried by Ines on hit Watcher's Eye, but Instant Leech will do the same thing. I still don't particularly like the pure ES playstyle. It felt like I was stuck a lot of times without a life flask. And you also have to hug the enemies to do damage and get your leech back, which causes more problems. It was hard to build with all the uniques. It was quite hard to get the res you need. I had to resort to taking Alira and getting some res on flasks to barely sustain it. The curse on stun setup does work, but is very inconsistent. Despite having almost no stun threshold, I sometimes don't get stunned. It can also overcast and drain out all of your mana, which is what I think is causing some of the blade blast not casting issues. I am rating this 2 out of 10, and I don't want to play it anymore. I hated playing this so much. It was a struggle to get to 90, and I was using the XP Shrine Scarabs. It lags horribly. The damage is random, it's sometimes either a lot or nothing. There's a bunch of moving parts, and they can all fail at different times. The Black Cane setup worked better here, and the uptime was almost perfect. Spell Impale works on paper, but it is inconsistent. The Cast When Stun setup was very random. Trigger bots as a whole feel like a bit of a bait. They double the cost and triple the lag. It's fun if you want a lot of spells going out, but I don't feel like it's worth it to me. The Brand Tech does work, I just don't like the playstyle. And that's about all for this one. I really need a palette cleanser after that. Maybe some cursed melee skill would work.